So 10 to the 1 is just 10. What's 10 squared? What's 10 cubed? What's 10 to the 4? What's the next number going to be? And 10 to the 6. OK. What are we doing as we go up? Obviously. We're adding a 0 or you're multiplying by 10, right? That's how you add a 0. What are the exponents doing as you go up? You're adding 1 to the exponent, um, plus 1, et cetera, all the way up. OK. So oh, I just want to point out, this 6, when you're dealing with powers of 10, represents the number, or, or your exponent represents the number of zeros, correct? when you're dealing with powers of 10. OK. <clears throat> so now let's think about as going when we're going back down. So as I go down, I'm taking 1 away from the exponent. Does that make sense? We went from 6 to 5. I'm subtracting 1. And then to 4, to 3, to 2, to 1. All right. And if we're multiplying going up on this side, that means when I'm coming back down, I'm dividing by 10. So if I divide 10 by 10, what do I get? 1. And if I take 1 away from this exponent here, what do I get? What's 1 minus 1? So I get 10 to the 0, which means 10 to the 0 is equal to 1. OK? Yeah. So on this side, the orange side, I'm dividing by 10 going down. That gives me 1. On this side, you're taking away one exponent, which is the same as dividing by 10, which gives me 10 to the 0 is equal to 1. You can do this for any number. So if I had 3 to the 4, anybody know what 3 to the 4 is? Okay, what's 3 times 3? 9 times 3 times 3? 81. 3 to the 4 is 81. So if we do the same process, on this side, we would be dividing by 3. And on this side, we're subtracting 1 from the exponent. That gives me 3 cubed. What's 3 cubed equal? 27. Divide by 3 again. Was 27 divided by 3? 9. And that means I have to take 1 away from this side on the exponent, so it gives me 3 squared. They're matching up. It makes perfect sense. 3 squared is 9. 3 cubed is 27. 3 to the 4 is 81. If I divide by 3 again, I get 3. If I take 1 away from there, I get 3 to the 1 is equal to 3. That makes perfect sense. Go one more step. What's 3 divided by 3? Take 1 away from the exponent. What am I left with? So I get 3 to the 0 is equal to 1. Anything to the 0 power is 1. Okay? So, pink. Any power with an exponent of zero equals one. You need to remember that. So if you have Negative 5 to the 0 power. What is that? 
What's your base? Negative five, right? Because it's in brackets. It's, oh, sorry. The way I wrote it, you're right. It is five. I meant to write it. There we go. Negative five to zero power is one. If I write, I don't know, x to the zero power, what's the answer? One. If I write happy face to the zero power, it is, it's always, always one. There is one exception when it's not, but you don't have to deal with it. It's when the base is zero. The exception, you don't even have to write this down because it's not part of this course. Zero to the power of zero. That is into indeterminate. Can't calculate. Okay? So we'll just say can't do. If you want to look at more into that, if you go to university, you will look into more of those things. We look at it a tiny bit in cal calculus, but not really. But that is the only thing. You will not see that. What you will see is stuff like this. Anything to the zero power is one. All right, just as a little thought process, what if I continue this? What if I divide by three here? What do I get? What's one divided by three? I don't want the decimal, just write the fraction. It's just one over three, right? If I take one away from this, what's zero minus one? It's negative one, right? Three to the negative one is a third. If I do the same here, divide by 10, what's one divided by 10? Is just one over 10. If I take one away from the exponent, take one away from zero, I get 10 to the negative one. So what do you think negative exponents mean? They mean fraction. All right. We don't do negative exponents in this class. That's grade 10. All right. So we stop at the zero. This stuff is math 10. Although it would be a good bonus question on one of your tests. Yes. All right. See, now we're into fun stuff and I can start pulling math 10 bonus questions and put them as bonus questions for you guys. All right. Okay. So let's look at a few examples here. So the most basic is I give you something like that on a quiz or a test and you go, what? What is it? One. You don't even have to think. Boom. And then I go, oh, what about this? And you go, it's negative one. Why is that negative one whereas the one above it is one? Yes. It's a negative before the 14. The negative is not attached to the exponent, right? If you see something like this, if you want, you can literally go, well, that zero is not attached to the exponent. So really it means that. If I, if I gave you that question, you'd probably be able to solve it. Because 14 to the zero, you know, is one. And there's a negative sitting out in front. If I go negative 14 in brackets to the power of zero, then what's the answer? One. Does that make sense? Are you okay with that? Yes, no, maybe so. All right. Um. Or we do the other stuff. All right. I would like you. Oh, uh, no, we'll do the next stuff. Okay. All right. Just a couple more examples or questions that they want us to do. So, <clears throat> writing numbers using powers of 10.
That's my little hashtag sign is my shorthand for number. So I'm too lazy to write the word number. Okay. Three thousand six hundred and fifty-two. We want to write this in terms of essentially base ten, powers of ten. So, uh oh. There we go. All right. So we can rethink this as 3,000, that's the three out there, plus what position is the six? That's hundreds, so it's 600, plus 50, because that's tens, plus two. That's the exact same thing. I just broke it up into whole numbers, essentially. Or nice even numbers, I guess I should say. Now, 3,000 is really three times 1,000. 600 is six times 100. 50 is five times 10. And two is just two, but we can write it as two times one, just for the sake of this. There we go. Does everybody agree? Like, I haven't changed the number. I'm just rewriting it. I'm breaking it into different components. Is that okay for everybody? Okay. What is a thousand in terms of base 10? So if you look back up here, what's 10 to the power of three, right? Because we have three zeros. So I know that that's gonna be three times 10 to the power of three. What's 100 in terms of base 10? Hundred is 10 squared. It's got two zeros. So it's 10 to the two. And then the 10 by itself is just five times 10. That doesn't really change. You could put the one there. Nobody ever would, but you could. And then, just for the sake of completeness, how do I write 1 in base 10? 10 to what power is 1? 10 to the 0 power. And that's what they want you to do. How do you feel about, I'm sorry. Are we okay with that? Just take the number, rewrite it in terms of actual like 3,000 plus 600 plus blah, blah, blah. Take those and say, well, 3,000 is actually 3 times 1,000, 6 times 100, 5 times 10. And then take the, the tens and rewrite them using your base 10, essentially, right as the power of 10. We okay? Yeah? Yeah. All right. Page, so we're going to use a textbook. I told you we're going to use a textbook for this unit. If it, works. if it works. I'll put it up here too as well. Page 61, 4 to 6, 8 to 10, and 13. Pause this. 